This is a Privia PX150. The problem with this piano or keyboard is this key right here. And this key, neither of them play notes. And this key right here is a bit sharp and loud. So we're gonna take this apart. With the piano upside down, you're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. They're all Phillips head to take this type of, you know, number two, I believe, side to size. And uh, now I'm going to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight of these little. Uh, eight of these things right here. I'm going to remove them on camera, a few of them at least. So you just take like a really small screwdriver. It's like ones used for computers and stuff. They're really small screws and these are really easy to lose. So make sure you keep it somewhere where you won't lose them. I did magnetize the, uh, the screwdriver here. Uh, this third one right here. So I'm gonna take all these out. I'll start right here. And back to the other screwdriver. This one has got that tip. This is thicker. So down there, you can see that screw. Uh, it's still, all of them have it. I'm going to show you all of them. This one, you see, this is the hammer that's kind of out of place. I can probably get a screwdriver, possibly bend it back. Yeah, you see this? Uh, the arm in there is kind of all over the place. There's a screw right there, a screw right there. I think one of them is missing. A screw right there, a screw right there, right there, right there, and right there. Now I can't really show you me actually removing it. I can only just. Uh, I can only just like see down for myself to actually be able to remove it. Alright, just took apart all eight screws and my dad just called on me. Typical Asian. Anyways, flip this over. As you can really see, you flip it over, you can see that uh, key is like just. Okay, well, something's wrong with it. Now. This should come out, maybe not. Uh, the middle section came out. The speakers did not. Like this one. As you can see right here, that's where the screw would go in to secure this uh, speaker. Actually, two screws here to secure this. To secure the speaker to uh, the side here. There's a few screws on the side, one right here, one right there. On this side, this side where I assume it doesn't have the uh, it's not screwed in. And you should just pull this right out. Let me put it back in and then pull it out. Shit. So I smacked it back in like Kind of like that, a little bit. Now it's all the way in. You just simply grab it and should pull. There we go. Should pull right out. And uh, looking in here, should be two screws. Yeah, one screw right there. So you can see one screw right there and one screw right there. And uh, it's pretty easy. You can probably do it one handed to show you. Anyhow, lift this up. Just come right out. After you're done doing that, you're going to want to take out one, uh, I think there's three screws, two, and this one right here, that one, that one, and all the way down here should be, where is it, three screws it seems like. So this piece can, this, this wire right here should probably just come out. There we go. That's, that's not a big deal. 
Oh, then just push it back in. I don't know if I show you. Did I show you? Did I, me pulling this out? It just, it just slides in. Now, if you're working on the floor, so you took all those screws out that I told you to do. Now, if you're working on the floor, it's actually easier if you tilt the entire unit kind of the way it is right now, kind of have the front of it standing, you know, kind of standing up sort of like that. I can't read. Really sort of like that, standing up, drape the speakers and the uh, this main unit thing uh, over the, um, drape it over on your lap, and then you can pull, hold one hand, hold this white assembly together. This is where most of the way piano is. Just gotta really firmly grasp it, and then the back piece you can just push off, and uh, the back piece will fall off. This piece right here disconnects from that slot right there. Now make it went in straight like that. Okay, went straight like that to the slot. My finger is the slot right there. Went in like that. Unplug it. Just just pull it out. Okay, just just pull it out. Um, make sure you don't get it dirty. Don't scratch it up. Don't cut it or nothing. Don't twist it or anything. Make sure the foam isn't facing you because if it is, with assuming this is faces down, you see the foam like that. It's the wrong way. So make sure it's straight like that. All right. Now, now that you got the whole thing out of the way, and of course this piece, well, I didn't really need to take it off, but I took it off anyways. Uh, whatever key you want to clean up, anything is AD key, so you want to do all of it. Go, go right ahead. Grab two flat blade screwdrivers, stick them in like so, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Just pry up, twist, kind of like that. All right, I should just. When this entire unit is out of the, the, the piano assembly, it is really easy to take out. This one, same thing. Just stick it in. Kind of want to rotate it kind of like that. Rotate this one like that this way. Rotate one this way. All right. Kind of rotate them into each other. I'll pop right out. Just like that. Actually, this one needs to come out first. So, I'll probably just show you all of them. As you can see, I mean, just look at that carnage. So, I'm going to replace this uh, hammer right here. There's a little tab all the way back there, you can kind of see. You can point to it with my uh, set right there. So, it goes with a little hinge, a little pivot thing, just kind of push down it. You need two hands for this, so uh, I'll pause you real quick. So just something like that, just a, just should push out. Yeah, it's just right there. I see I'm pushing it. You don't really see it, but it should just pop right forward. Actually, I'm gonna put the hammer piece back in and pop it out as one big unit. It should come out relatively easily. Right there, see the little pivot point thing? Just gonna push down on it. I can't really see from my angle, but it should pop off. So you weren't able to see what was going on, but basically it's kind of like this. It clips on the little shaft right there. See what I mean? It's kind of like, kind of like that. You just gotta push it back, kind of like a C-clip, and it's just popped off. You see that right there? It popped off or broke off. I hope it popped off, didn't break off. That would be bad, but uh, it is already broken anyway. So just pull it straight out, and uh, it should. A little bit of wiggling from that little arm back there. It is bent a little bit, not too much though. See, just I don't know if you'll see that, but just kind of wiggle it back and forth, and out it comes. So I'm going to show you, this is the damaged one, or the one that was damaged. I just bent it back with a pair of pliers. And uh, when, you, when, you, when you bend it back, like, you basically bend it, and there's those, these slots in there. You slip the uh, hammer into the plat into like those little, those little slots, like one here, 
one here, one down there, and one back there as well. Slip it down and just pull this plastic piece back like this way or this hammer piece forward where my finger is pointing. And then you kind of see it slipped in and out and there's a little like little snap thing like right in the middle of my fingertip, where my fingernail is at, like right there. You'll hear that that thing make a like a like a small like a little small click. That's gonna hold this plastic piece on, and uh, to put it back in, all you gotta do is just kind of do what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to do this one-handedly, and see, it's already in there. And you just gotta pull it forward, pull it forward, and I didn't pull that hard. It should already be in there. Okay, it's not in there just yet, but. So I'm gonna kind of see down in there. I'm gonna try to pull it forward for you. I'm gonna brace my hand against the uh, key here, just to pull it forward. You have to, you do have to kind of push it a little bit though to get it in. I don't know if you saw that or not, but I'm gonna try the other one as well. Uh, you don't have to pull too hard. With two hands, it's a lot easier, but I have one hand and the palm of my camera hand to kind of hold this. So you see that right there? I'm gonna see, see so this might act like I'm taking it out. So this is out, right? Kind of orientation is kind of like that. This is a white key, by the way, not a black key. Um, going like that. And then you can kind of see that plastic, or that, sorry, that C-clip thing focus all the way down there. I'm actually looking through my camera so what you see is kind of what I see, and uh, you pull, there you go, and uh, let's check out what it looks like from the top side. On the left side, let me get my screwdriver to point it, so on this left side right here, this is the undamaged um, uh, ring, not sorry, ring, a uh, hammer, and this is the damaged one. Uh, either way, it's like really, it's nearly impossible to tell which one is which at this point, and they feel the same. Either one, I think, I think the left one is actually the one that's damaged. It should push in. Oh shoot! Uh, sorry, not. There we go. Um, make sure you line it up and push it down. I mean, that feels perfect, and the key hopefully shouldn't be. There we go. Now, I, yep, this is the one that's damaged. It feels fine. It is a little bit sunken, like a little bit sunken. Before, but bu 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 sorry, but from before it was actually like that. Some are actually, I don't know if actually sunken, but make sure this little strap right here you see, make sure you kind of do that, and then you lift it. And just slowly and carefully, well not carefully I guess, but just kind of slip it in. You see that plastic piece right there? You just gotta pull this back, it'll slide down. It's already down in there, you see that? Over here, well there was a peg, there is a peg, and I just just kind of shimmied it in a little bit. And uh, check around the entire perimeter, make sure you see, oh right here, just kind of See that? It's not fully seated. Now it's seated. So I'm going to put these spacer things in between the uh, keys here. Uh, shoot. So I think this goes right here. So this long piece goes in on the very right side of the keyboard. And these... So there's two long ones. This is a long one. This is a long one. This is a short one. I believe the short one goes in the middle. Let's see. So make sure you line up the holes here. So there's a hole right there, hole right there, hole right there, and a few holes. Make sure you line them all up. And if they don't, if it doesn't fit, it doesn't line up. And there's a little peg right here as well that I just noticed. That peg will help you line it up, and so you know which one is which. There's actually another small one as well. I believe it goes in the middle. So, no, it does not go in the middle. Okay, it does go in the middle. 
so there's a, these these pegs right here shoot sorry i can't really see it these pegs they go through that little hole and uh, it's in and this long piece goes on the far right sorry far left side uh so that's all the pieces in now get all your silver screws for the uh, pegs, not for pegs, for these little key things here, you use the silver screws that do not have the washer on them. For these pegs down here, you want to use those screws that have the um, that have the little washer thing built on them. So around 15 minutes later, I got all the screws in. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there's where I put them for each one. Uh, the uh, some screw holes I probably didn't put them in there properly. Uh, mainly because, well, if it can go in, it can go in. Um, it's not. This is not really that crucial of a uh, piece. I mean, still needed to be secure, but like if it wobbles around a tiny bit, it's no big deal. And. Uh, these screws right here, they're the ones with the flat washer type on the back of them. There's one down there. Uh, let me see, one right there. All the way at the end, right there. These two wires just slip down in here. Like they just push down and they just get, it's just friction limited. in. And uh, you get your, you slip this over this way. This wire here should slip in right there. What you're seeing is what I'm seeing, so just kind of slip it down in there, push it in. It's okay to push it a little bit further on both sides to so really make sure it doesn't come out. Don't push it too hard though, be gentle. And uh, this should go on. Make sure you see those these little pegs right there, they slide in like that. Here, I'm going to try to push it in downwards, so make it a little bit easier for me. Make sure you push it in. You should look at it directly when you're doing this. We'll push it in. There we go. Uh, it's in. There's some pegs on the bottom here as well that you can see from my angle. And uh, line it up. Push it down. So just hold one hand right here. Flip it over. Keep. Maintain pressure on it. Maintain pressure on it until you maintain pressure. Make sure it doesn't fall out. And just very carefully, slowly turn it over. There you go. Now you turn it over. So one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, which is all the way down in there, you can see, uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and there should be one right here, 25, uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and uh, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38 screws. And from the side, so I just put all the screws that I could possibly fit into the back of this piano. And uh, the, well, I just put this panel on the side over here. <clears throat> and I, uh, there's two screws to hold it in. And, uh, let me put them in real quick for you. And after you finish putting in the last screw, I mean, there will be some leftover screws because they either don't fit or whatever. You're pretty much done with this keyboard.